Is this former AEW star heading to WWE? But first, a wrestling legend is set for AEW Collision. This Saturday night, the finals for both the men's and women's Owen Hart Foundation tournaments will take place, with CM Punk battling Ricky Starks on one side, whilst Ruby Soho takes on the winner of tonight's AEW Rampage match between Willow Nightingale and Athena. Ahead of the Calgary show, former Stampede Wrestling star and New Japan Pro Wrestling star Jushin Thunder Lion Tiger would reveal on Twitter that he is set to appear as a special guest on Collision and he would say, I am at Haneda Airport now. From now on, I will go to Calgary, Canada via San Francisco. I was invited as a guest to Owen Hart's Memorial Tournament. I am looking forward to Calgary after a long time. During his career, Liger would wrestle Owen Hart on 10 different occasions in singles matches, with the series scoring them with 5 wins each, with both men playing a key part in the company's junior heavyweight division in the late 80s and early 90s. We now wait to find out if Jushin will play a role on the show, perhaps during the trophy ceremony, or if he'll be joined by other guests on the night. Next up, a recent WWE return appearance was cancelled. Last week, following the Madison Square Garden edition of Friday Night Smackdown, a report emerged from PW Insider that noted that Carlito had travelled to the show. With that said, he would not appear on the card in any capacity, something we now have an update on. In today's Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer would reveal that Carlito was in fact originally planned to appear and return on SmackDown. However, due to the amount of content that was needed to be crammed into the show, the plans were cancelled. If you recall, another report came out that revealed that there was major timing issues due to the tribal court segment going over, with this likely playing a part in the call to cut Carlito's appearance. He will now likely make his return in the weeks ahead. And speaking of WWE returns, could this former WWE champion be close to theirs? Ever since May 2022, Randy Orton has been absent from television with him recovering from a back injury that has kept him out of action. With that said, some fans feel that we may now have just been handed a clue that he could once again reappear on Raw or SmackDown. This after a brand new version of his voice's entrance music was released by Rev Music, the band behind the song. The news follows a recent report from the reliable WRKD Wrestling that revealed the Viper was nearing a return, with them suggesting that it could have happened as soon as Money in the Bank. Whilst we know that it didn't happen at the London pay-per-view, perhaps we could be set to see him return out of nowhere in the weeks ahead. But do you think the new song means that we're one step closer to a Randy Orton return? Let me know in the comments down below. And next, this major AEW show looks set to air on pay-per-view. Since the announcement of AEW All in London live from Wembley Stadium, there's been questions about how the event will be broadcast, whether it be as a typical pay-per-view or via the Max streaming service or even on cable television. Well, according to a new report from Andrew Zarian of the Matt Men podcast, the show will be a traditional pay-per-view and Andrew would take to his podcast to say, the other thing I confirmed with somebody today double confirmed, so all in is a big question, right? What do you do with all in, right? Is it going to be free? Are you going to give it for free? Are you going to charge a pay per view fee? Then you're going to charge another one the following month, right? Following week, right? You're going to do 100 bucks. Well, it's a pay per view on BR Bleacher Report. Right now, I believe I'm not 100% on this, but I believe they're working on some sort of bundle to get both, which makes a lot of sense. I know that it was a discussion. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if BR has that ability, but BR is very limited and they need to get off of it. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, the next, the next step in their TV. AEW All In and AEW All Out will take place within one week of each other, which is what led to the initial doubts on if All In would also be a pay-per-view, although we now seemingly have our answer. Next up, an AEW manager is heading to Mexico. This Saturday night, Lucha Libre AAA will host Triple Mania Tijuana, an event headlined by a AAA Mega Championship match between champion El Hijo Del Vikingo and the challenger Kenny Omega. Earlier today, Omega's former manager and current foe Don Callis would take to Twitter to post a video promo where he revealed that he too will be in Tijuana in the corner of Vikingo, and he would say, I'm having a meeting because as has been well publicized, 
ostracized since betraying me in the way that he did, Kenny Omega is now 0 and 4 in big matches without Don Callis. That probably tells you a little something. So as much as I'm not interested to descend on the country of Mexico, I'll make a special exception right now because I just gave El Hijo del Vikingo the secret sauce to make Kenny Omega go 0 and 5. Callis will of course also be in the corner of the Blackpool Combat Club's team in next Wednesday's Blood and Guts match on AEW Dynamite, this when they take on the Golden Elite, with Saturday night providing fans with a taste of what's to come. And next, could this long-awaited dream match be set to happen? Ever since Mercedes Monet made her New Japan Pro Wrestling and Stardom debuts in Japan, Joshi fans have been calling for the CEO to step into the ring with former World of Stardom champion Julia. Well, according to a fresh report from Dave Meltzer in the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, the match is in fact in the plans. Right now, Mercedes is currently out of action due to an injury she sustained in the finals of the NJPW Strong Women's Championship tournament, with this forcing the finish to be changed mid-match, which saw Willow Nightingale leave with the belt instead. Since then, Julia has picked up the title from Willow, with this seemingly being a move to get things back on course for the Mercedes match going forward. And speaking of fantasy matchups, could this AEW vs WWE match happen? Appearing in an interview with Mark Andrews on the My Love Letter to Wrestling podcast this week, former AEW Women's World Champion Britt Baker would discuss her time in the company thus far before revealing what her dream match would be from any promotion. Britt would then name multi-time WWE Women's Champion Charlotte Flair as the wrestler she wants to face one day and said, I always say I'd love to have a match with Charlotte Flair. I think she's one of the best that's ever done it, and no matter what you say about her, she's always proven people wrong. She's very admirable, her attitude, her poise, everything about her that I look up to. Of course, with the unlikelihood that WWE and AEW would ever end up working together, we'd need one of the talents to make the jump from one place to the other for the match to actually happen. But do you have any interest in Britt Baker versus Charlotte Flair in the years ahead? Let me know in the comments down below. And next up, an NXT superstar has been spotted ahead of tonight's episode of SmackDown. Tonight, SmackDown will go down in Raleigh, North Carolina, with the show confirmed to feature the fallout from Jey Uso's undisputed WWE Universal title challenge to the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, as well as a WWE Women's Championship match that will see Asuka put her title on the line against Bianca Belair. According to a report from PW Insider, NXT star Odyssey Jones has been spotted in Raleigh ahead of tonight's episode of WWE Friday Night Smackdown. Whilst this isn't confirmation of a move to the main roster, it should be noted that NXT's Trick Williams was also brought into last week's tapings, but he wasn't utilised. As of now, there's no word on if Jones will be used on camera tonight. Next up, a major world championship match has been cancelled. News recently broke that current ROH world champion Claudio Castagnoli was set to battle Mark Briscoe with the title on the line at next Friday's Death Before Dishonor pay-per-view, setting up a possible fairy tale moment for Mark, who looks to pick up his first ever ROH world title. Unfortunately, however, the match is no longer happening. Taking to Twitter last night, ROH owner Tony Khan would reveal that due to injury, Briscoe is no longer able to compete and he would tweet Due to an injury reported this week, Mark Briscoe cannot be cleared to wrestle at ROH Death Before Dishonor next Friday, 7.21. We all wish Mark the very best in his recovery. ROH World Champion Claudio Castagnoli is on training sabbatical to prepare for the huge week ahead with Blood and Guts on Wednesday at AEW Dynamite plus his championship defense at Death Before Dishonor pay-per-view next Friday. We will address Claudio's pay-per-view title challenger next week following the highly anticipated Blood and Guts event on TBS. Again, everyone at AEW and Ring of Honor is wishing Mark Briscoe the very best in his injury recovery. Thank you all. It has since been revealed that a four-man tournament is set to be held on next week's episode of Ring of Honor TV, with former ROH world champ Dalton Castle, as well as Tony Nese, Shane Taylor, and Sean Dean fighting it out for a spot at Death Before Dishonor. And next is this former AEW star heading to WWE. Earlier this week, a report emerged from PW Insider that revealed that the AEW contract of Brian Pillman Jr. had come to an end, with him no longer being part of the All Elite roster. 
star. According to a fresh report coming out of today's Wrestling Observer newsletter, Pillman has since been spotted at the WWE Performance Center in Orlando, Florida, a sign that he could be set to sign with the company. The appearance is said to have taken place on Thursday, just two days after his AEW departure became public. There was no confirmation on if a contract offer would be made for Brian. However, the move would be huge for Pillman's career if he were to be given the opportunity to train regularly at the PC, with NXT perhaps being the ideal move for him at this point in order to get to the next level. But what do you make of Brian Pillman Jr. potentially heading to WWE? Let me know in the comments down below. And before you go, make sure you check out how AEW can change wrestling forever.